Hi there, I'm Paula Waterman, and I'm an artist that lives in Eldersburg, Maryland, about 25 miles west of Baltimore. I've been making art my entire life, but oil painting really wasn't my first medium. I started painting seriously in oil about three decades ago, reveling in the color and flexibility of the medium. Oddly, I seem to specialize in white birds. That is, I paint a lot of egrets and herons. I love the shapes, and I really love the color of the light on and through the feathers. Of course, I also paint a variety of other avian and other species and landscapes, but I paint a lot of egrets. So in the pink was an opportunity to really use color, not the subtle colors of shadow and sun, but the actual bright pigment in a tropical bird's feathers. American flamingos are native to the United States, and they can be seen in the wild, but my experience of them has only been with captive birds. If I paint from a model that is a captive animal, I prefer not to place it in a natural landscape because that just doesn't feel quite right to me. So my paintings of captives are generally portraits without a natural habitat. So I saw these birds at a jungle park facility in Florida a number of years ago when I was on a fun trip with three other artists. Hi, Terry Miller. I knew I wanted just two or three birds with strong abstract shapes made by those impossibly long bendy necks and ridiculously pinky orange feathers that look like fluorescent armor. Once the composition was worked out, I just enjoyed using a lot of colors I don't normally have occasion to use in painting my subjects. Remember those white birds I love painting? Yeah. Colorful, but not flamingo colorful. So, alizarin crimson, cadmium yellow, cadmium orange, almost all straight from the tubes instead of being added in microscopic amounts to white paint. Yes. My decision to use a neutral whitish background was deliberate as well. I wanted only the bird shapes to figure. It isn't really a very bright backdrop. It's kind of a dull whitish neutral, really. Just a portrait backdrop for a portrait of a couple of flamboyantly shaped birds going about their business. I truly hope you enjoy the riot of color and shape that's in the pink and the rest of this marvelous exhibit as well. Virgin Art is truly a landmark show to experience. Thank you.